everyone welcome to root to mathematics in this video we are going to solve this interesting equation so here we have given if x to the power 7 plus x is cube divided by x to the power 6 plus x to the power 4 equals to 7 by 2 then find the real solution of x okay so here we are asked to find the values of x from this given equation before going through the solution please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos okay so let's just start the solution. So we have given x to the power 7 plus x is cube divided by x to the power 6 plus x to the power 4 equals to 7 by 2. Okay. In the next step, I'll divide x to the power 5 in both numerator and denominator. Okay. So we have x to the power 7 plus x is cube. Divide by x to the power 5. Divide by x to the power 6. Plus x to the power 4. Divide by x to the power 5. This equals to 7 by 2. Okay. So now. We can write this as x to the power 7. Divide by x to the power 5. Plus x is cube. Divide by x to the power 5. Divide by x to the power 6 divided by x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 divided by x to the power 5 equals to 7 by 2. Now if I cancel out, we will get x square plus 1 by x square divided by in the denominator part we will get x plus 1 by x equals to 7 by 2. Okay, now if I square x plus 1 by x whole square by applying the algebraic identity of a plus b whole square, we will get x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 multiplied with x multiplied with 1 by x. So here x x get cancelled out. So we are getting x plus 1 by x whole square as x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. Okay. Now taking this 2 to the right hand side. We can write x square plus 1 by x square is nothing but x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. Okay. So let's just substitute the value of numerator that is x square plus 1 by x square as x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. Okay. So, this implies this we can write x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 divided by x plus 1 by x equals to 7 by 2. Okay. Now, in the next step, let's just consider x plus 1 by x equals to t, where t must be greater than 0. If t is less than 0, then we will get a negative value. And if t is equals to 0, then we will get an undefined value. So, t must be greater than 0. Okay. Now, now substituting t, we have t square minus 2 divided by t equals to 7 by 2. Now, by doing cross multiplication, we have 2t square minus 4 equals to 7t. This implies this. Now, taking the 7t to the right hand side, we have 2t square minus 7t minus 4 equals to 0. So, here we have a quadratic equation. Let's just factorize it by using middle term splitting method. So, we can write 2t t square minus 8t plus t minus 4 equals to 0. This implies this. Let's just take common 2t. So, we have t minus 4 and here we will take 1 common. So, here we have t minus 4 equals to 0. This implies this 2t plus 1 multiplied with t minus 4 equals to 0. Now from here we can write 2t plus 1 equals to 0 or t minus 4 
equals to zero. This implies that here we are getting t equals to minus one by two, and here we are getting t equals to four. So as you know that t must be greater than zero. So t equals to minus one by two will give. So t equals to minus one by two will give a imaginary value of x. So this value of t get discarded. Now let's just find the value of x for t equals to four. So we know that t equals to x plus one by x. So this implies is four equals to x plus one by x. This implies is we have four x equals to x square plus one. This implies is x square minus four x. Plus one equals to zero. So here we have a quadratic equation. We'll apply the quadratic formula in order to find the value of x. So we can write x equals to minus b plus or minus root under b square minus four ac divided by two a. So here a, b, c are nothing but the coefficient of the quadratic equation. So here a equals to one, b equals to minus four. And c equals to one. So, by putting the values, we have x equals to four plus or minus root under sixteen minus four multiplied with one multiplied with one divided by two. So this implies is x equals to four plus or minus root under twelve divided by two. This implies is x equals to four plus or minus two root three divided by two, which is equals to two plus or minus root three. So, hence the value of x is equals to two plus or minus root three. Other answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.